Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer media from your computer into your iOS device, iPhone, iPad, whatever that is. And in this video particularly, I'm going to be talking about uh, the music and the pictures. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to transfer music and pictures into your iPhone without the need of iTunes or iTools or uh, any of these uh, apps that require or programs that require you to pay money uh, to allow you to transfer media. So I found this application or program which is Sync iOS. I got that right here and I'm going to be placing a link down below in the description uh, to download and install it on your PC. So basically this is the application here and it works both on iOS and Android but if you're using an Android, you won't need it anyway. Okay, right here we're going to focus on iPhone. So what you got to do is just connect your iPhone. It's simple, just like you're connecting it to iTunes. So right now I just connected my device uh, to the PC. As you can see, recognize it. And as you can see, there's a note here. It says, please turn off iTunes and do not operate your mobile device directly when running Sync iOS. Okay. So make sure that iTunes is off and make, make sure it's, it's not on right here. Okay. And as you can see right here, it's, it's very simple and you can do much more than transferring photos and music. But in this video, particularly, I'm going to be uh, focusing on both of these. So now let's take a look at how to transfer music. So let's say you've got music downloaded on your PC right here. Um, I have some downloaded in right here. Okay, I've got a lot of music here. So let's say I want to transfer some of them into my uh, uh, mobile device, the iPhone, on my music application. So what I gotta do is go ahead and go to media, which will transfer me to music. And it, it shows you all the music that you have on your device. Now, the ones with the, the eye icon right here, that means that they are downloaded by Apple Music, so don't worry about that one. Just the other ones, I've all transferred them uh, from the uh, PC to the phone using Sync iOS. So what you gotta do is just tap on Add, Add File, Add Folder, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go to the folder where I've got my music right here. And as I picked Add File, I'm going to transfer a file. So let me take a look here. I'll pick a song, any song, actually. And maybe this one right here. Okay, Cosmic Gate Embargo. Okay, and as you can see, it's been added. All right, now don't worry about this one. It will keep appearing, but don't worry about it. You can transfer as much songs and as much photos as you want. Okay, now I'm going to go to the iOS device to show you that it actually worked. But before I go there, I'm going to show you how to transfer multiple music at once. What you got to do is just tap on add and add a folder. And make sure that you have uh, all the songs that you want to transfer in one folder. And just tap on it and tap OK. And all the songs will be transferred. It's as simple as that. Okay, uh, the photos. I really can't show it to you right now because I've got some private photos in there, but it's the exact same thing. You just go into photos right here, and you tap on add, and it will add as much photos as you want, just like the music. Okay, you can also add ebooks that are a formatted PDF or ebook. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now let's go to the phone and show you that it actually worked. Remember, I transferred the song Embargo by Cosmic Gate, and I'll show you right now. All right, guys, so I'm back here on the phone and let's go to the music app. And the reason that it's not available in the recently added is because I already have that song on my phone. So let me go and search embargo. And as you can see, I have them twice here because I already uh, have the song. But just trust me on this. I should have used a song that I already didn't have, but uh, trust me on this, whatever song you add, 
it's going to be there and it's going to be available in the recently added okay and yeah that's about it it's as simple as that just download sync ios from the link that i have down below and you'll be good to go thank you for watching if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who would need it as well